All right, we are going to do something different this time. We're going to go ahead and work in the Python shell, which is more or less a real-time view. And what we are going to do is make a black rectangle rotate in the canvas. And like last time, we will also use a loop. So the first thing we need to do is to import the CS1 graphics library. And of course, the asterisk means all to import all. And then we also need to import time so that we have our sleep and our wait functions. Although we won't see the wait function in this one because we're operating from the uh, Python shell. Anyway, we are going to first name our canvas paper and create the canvas. And notice that it is set the width is 200 and the height is 200. This will help us set up a center point. And as you can see, I will pull it up now. It's created our graphics screen. Okay, and now what we will do is we will set our point, and I'm going to name it rectangle point, and I will set this point equal to 100, 100, which is the middle of the screen. Okay, now what we will do is actually create the rectangle so I'm going to name my rectangle rectangle and I will go ahead and set 20 10 is just a suggestion but that is too small for what we're doing so I'm going to make it 40 20 and I'm going to set our point I'm gonna use our point our rectangle point okay and next what we need to do is we need to set the fill color. So we will use our rectangle and we will do dot set fill color. In the parentheses, what color we want? Well, we want black. Or you can use any point that you want. Okay, now what we need to do is add our rectangle. So we're going to add it to the paper canvas and we want to add our rectangle. And as you can see, it's shown up now. Now what we need to do is to make the loop to rotate. So first we'll set a variable so we know how many times we want it to rotate. And I'm going to set x equal to 0. That's what you should start off at. Okay, now we need to do a while loop. We want to, And since I plan on rotating this 45 degrees, if we do it 8 times, it will go back to its original position. So I'm going to say while x is less than 8, and then you need to make sure you put the colon at the end to start that block. And now we want to use our rectangle and we want to move, or I'm sorry, we want to rotate it. And with the angle, we want to rotate it 45 degrees. Okay. And by doing this, that will allow it each single time to rotate 45 degrees. And then we are going to set a sleep function. And this is how many times that it sleep, how many, how long it sleeps in between each time. We're going to set this to point zero one, or we're going to set this to one, one tenth of a second. Okay, and then we need to change our variable each time so once it gets to eight, it stops. So we will do x equals x plus one. And that way, each time x will keep adding on one. Okay, and now we watch the program and we can actually run this now. And see how that rotated fast? We can actually make that slower. Now we need to make sure we set x equals to zero again. And we will tell it that while x is less than eight, we will tell we want the rectangle to rotate forty-five degrees. And this time we'll make it a little longer. We'll do let's say eight tenths of a second. And we still need to make sure that x is x is equal to x plus one the x plus one always has to be there no matter what the time function okay now watch how slow it moves now each time in between that spin it, e it is eight tenths of a second and that is how you will rotate an object